Hey everybody, Striders here with another pre-game stats breakdown. And first of all, on the red team we have Nidalee, Darius, Leona, Ezra, and Maokai versus the blue team, Zyra, Corky, Shen, Shaco, and Blitzcrank. So starting off at the top lane on the red team we have Darius versus the Shen. Now Darius mains support while Shen mains top, so I think this is going to give a huge advantage to Shen because uh, top lane and bottom lane are two entirely different lanes besides the obvious but uh bottom lane is typically more of a uh sit there and farm uh, harass when you can take huge advantages when you can but top lane is a lot of uh trading blows and um just kind of being aware of those ganks that are coming or supposedly coming uh so that's it's going to be interesting to see how Darius does he has played you know uh, almost 40 games with Darius with a 62% win ratio which is really high uh, but Shen has played uh, over 120, yeah, 120 games with a 54.92% win ratio, uh, and that's pretty good. That's about where you want to be with any champion. A uh, 55% win rate is going to get you higher ELO, exactly where you want to be. Um, but again, like I said, he does have a lot more top lane experience and a lot more champion experience. So I'm gonna go ahead and give the top lane to the blue team. Uh, then if you take a look at the mid lane, we have AP Nidalee versus Zyra. Now, this is, Nidalee mains top, um, but since Nidalee is typically a top champion, uh, she's also played about 70 games with her at a 50% win ratio. Uh, now, Zyra's been played by this person, again, about you know 70 times as well with a 72% win ratio, but she also mains caster. So I'm definitely giving that mid lane to the blue team as well. Uh, then if you if we transition over to the junglers, we have Maokai versus Shaco. Now Maokai is a very aggressive jungler. He's really good early game. He can get with the, you know, he can root you in place and then kind of knock you up and back slow you. And uh, that's going to be really powerful for them. Uh, but Shaco's also incredibly powerful. Um, Maokai main support while Shaco mains top. So I don't think neither one of them have a huge advantage in experience in the jungle. Uh, but the Maokai player has played 54 games with Maokai at a 55% win ratio, where Shaco has only been played by this person 14 times with a 50% win ratio. So I'm going to go ahead and give the jungle to the red team. I think it's just going to be a little bit, that experience is really just going to help out there. And Shaco is incredibly difficult to, uh, to master, that's for sure. And I think it's going to take a lot more than 14 games to do that. Uh, then if we take a look at the bottom lane, uh, we have Ezreal versus Corky. Um, Ezreal is a really good counter towards Blitzcrank to get away from those grabs, uh, and that's why I think they picked Ezreal. Uh, the Ezreal player mains support while the Corky mains top, so neither of them have an advantage in that way. Uh, Ezreal's been played by this person about 130 times, though, with a 57% win ratio, and Corky's been played by this person 45 times with a 55% win ratio. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and give this lane advantage to the Ezreal, for sure, the red team. Um, but then if we take a look at the Leona versus Blitzcrank, uh, Leona main support. So that's going to be absolutely wonderful. Um, and Blitzcrank mains caster. Uh, he's also only played one game with Blitzcrank and lost. Where, as to where Leona's played 25 games with her and won 32%. So I don't think the supports you can really count in this game right now. I, it's hard to give them either either one of them an advantage uh, to be honest but I think Leona may have a little bit better warding placements and bush placements uh, so I'm going to give the bottom lane to the red team so overall uh, I would put uh, the top and middle uh, and jungle in favor oh yeah top middle to the blue team and then jungle and bot lane uh, to the red team uh, but I think top and mid are just so important that if they shut them down hard enough they're not going to make it to late game to make it to where uh, the bottom lane is really going to be able to do much. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, if you add everything up, though, on the red team, uh, they're going to have a 53.94% chance of winning as to where the blue team is going to have a 59.20% chance of winning. Uh, so I'm definitely going to side with the numbers on this one and go with the blue team. I think they're going to come out on top. So let's go ahead and get into the game and see what happens. Hey everybody, Stratter's back with another daily high ELO casting. This is going to be part one, and again, this is going to be on the EU West server. Uh, very interesting to see how Shaco is played in the European 
uh, on the European servers. I have seen them on the Korean servers a couple times, you know, just over streams. Uh, I've seen them quite a few times actually uh, in the North America server, but I have never seen one on the European server. So I'm very excited about this game. Uh, also, I'm pretty excited to see where Nidalee ends up going. I'm assuming that she's going to go mid up against the Zyra. Uh, but then again, AP Nidalee is one of those champions you just don't really see, especially in mid. Um, so it, it's just going to be another one of those things. I'm, I'm very interested to see how that's how that's going to unravel. We did see, uh, who is it, Scara. We saw Scara play AP mid Nidalee uh, like a few days ago. Like a, I think it was like two or three days ago, but uh, it worked out really well for uh, for him. So uh, let's just hope we can see the same type of thing. Uh, and this is pretty standard, starting off with the traps. That uh, that bushwhack is so powerful. I'm um, just providing so much lane presence or lane security, I guess you could say. Um, but having a really nice map awareness on that too, because every time you lay one of those down, it gives you a pretty nice little field of vision for. You know, half second or whatever, uh, and it's pretty good. I like it. It's on a really long cooldown. You know, 17, 17.28 seconds. That's really long, but uh, it's still incredibly good. I don't know if that ward from Leona is really necessary. I think she might have been a little bit overzealous with that ward. Uh, but still pretty good, I guess. It can always come in use. Always. Uh, it's going to give them huge vision of that river. Uh, so if Shaco does decide to go through river. Uh, to go for a gank on bottom or try to counter jungle, which is always possible. Uh, it's not going to be nearly as effective. Uh, so blue team is doing the really old school strat right here. This is like when I first started. This is, you know, 200 ELO right here. <laughs> 200 ELO strat. Uh, and the great thing about that is because the strats that you learn when you're, or not really learn, but the things you come up with when uh, you're just barely first starting, they are are pretty amateur-ish as far as you know strategies go but the thing is that everybody knows that strategy so then everybody stops using it which makes it actually a pretty good strategy when to get to high ELO uh, if you pull it out every once in a while oh this could be dangerous if he oh he started off with mystic, mystic shot he does not have oh man that's gonna be dangerous so I don't know how that's gonna work if they're going to be able to pull this off, I will be very excited. They are waiting for them to actually get in lane. But they're going to go through river, and their <laughs> red team is going to be behind these creeps. So they're going to have some form of a shade. They do have... Oh, man. They do have vision. Uh, there's a blue ward in this bush, and that's going to provide them with a lot. Leona's going to face check this bush, and yes, she is going to go down pretty quickly. A great tuck coming out from Shen, followed up by the grab. She is not going to waste her flash, and again, like I said, that was a phenomenal play. Uh, they did use quite a bit of time, but giving them that first blood is really going to make up for it, hands down. Uh, and now there is a ward, uh, a red ward in the offensive brush, which is exactly where Leona needed to put it. So all in all, she did have a little bit of an advantage there just doing that. And Ezreal's going to be able to farm for uh, just a little bit. He's also getting quite a bit nice harass. Oh, the flash grab just barely missing the Ezreal. So very close. And that's one of the scary things about Ezreal against Blitzcrank. Before he gets that arcane shift, uh, he can be easily grabbed. But it's uh, once he picks that up, it's going to make it so much more difficult because he can arcane shift after he gets grabbed. And that's not going to be... Uh, it's definitely not going to be useful, so they're going to have to wait for that to go on cooldown if they want it to continue that way. Uh, Leona coming out with another brush. Oh my gosh, a great kill in mid. Let's see how this unravels. So Nidalee's coming in. Uh, Shaco is stealth. He's behind Nidalee. That's going to proc the backstab. And the wonderful, absolutely wonderful shock box placed super far ahead just slightly outside of tower range so it'll even flash but she still got feared at the last second from it i think she probably would have got down from the red buff anyway um but that was just a very very well played uh, extremely good that's going to be very beneficial for that blue team again they do have two kills now so they're up by about 1100 gold uh shen is a little bit behind though he only has seven cs versus the 19 of darius and that is gonna be pretty detrimental because Shen is a very vital part of the team. Uh oh. So great job by Leona getting that send the flip with 
the shield daybreak and now the exhaust going down onto the blitzcrank i don't know if that's necessarily worth it uh oh but his flash is down is it gonna yes the xenoblade going down with the stun and the twist advance coming in he's gonna get oh man that is a wonderful play by the blitzcrank he was able to get out of there just barely that arcane smash actually knocked him in the wrong direction a little bit of a misplay coming out from that Maokai, not actually wanting to tank those tower shots. He cut it a little bit too close and so close that it was actually missed. Oh, and again, Shaco's coming around from the back in Italy. He gets ignited. She's going down really fast. She gets the heal, but it's not going to be enough. And it looks like the red buff actually ticked away at that one. So wonderful play once again from the blue team. Being able to turn around every bad situation, just capitalizing on the fact that Italy is not level 6 yet. Uh, that is going to be really good for them, especially Zyra. I mean, she's almost five and a half now. That's going to be really good for her, and Nidalee is not even close to level five. So, uh, this could be very bad news. If she gets to level six before Nidalee even gets to level five, oh, this could not be good. Uh, yes, the Arcade Smash going to come out. He has the red buff. He's, the snare is going to miss, but the plants are coming out. Zyra's getting, she's taking a lot of damage. Shigo's coming out. The spear now going out from, oh my gosh, he doesn't pick it up with the passive. Very unfortunate. And, oh my gosh, Arcane Smash just barely letting him live. Great job by that Maokai. And I can't believe that Zara actually missed that passive. It seemed like a pretty easy hit. She just uh, didn't predict where he was going in time. Uh, Shaco backed off, though. He was trying to give her the kill. Uh, he was just a little bit too selfless, which is not something you typically hear. Uh, in a solo key match. Oh, great apprehend coming out from Darius. He's doing a ton of damage on the Shen. The Ignite going down. Is he going to flash? Yes, he is. No, he does not. Level 6. He's not going to be able to get that dunk quite yet. Unfortunate, but Shen still almost died from those bleeds. A great job by Darius. His passive just proving to be way too strong. The hemorrhage is just too good. Too, too, too good. Uh, Zyra's going to be recovering from that little bit of a loss. Uh, it's probably a little demoralizing that she kind of got 1v1 versus a Maokai. Uh, that, you know, is not even really tanky yet. <laughs> Doesn't have any health items. That's uh, a little disheartening, but I'm sure she'll recover just fine. She does have those three Doran's rings, which is uh, an interesting build. It's not typically what you see. It's going to give her the health she gets. Uh, they, everyone used to think of it as the poor man's rod of ages because it provided you with basically this the same amount of effective mana with the amount of mana regen it gave give you the health that you needed uh, but then they nerfed the health a little bit and it kind of just fell out of favor uh, so now it's interesting to see this because like I said not many people actually use it let me see if we can go ahead and get to live see if she makes anything of it it looks like Blitzcrank is just kind of harassing a little bit. He's not doing any power fists. And now, oh, Shackles coming up from the top. Darius is going to take a lot of damage, but... Oh, man, a great Arcane Smash just to thwart them away. <laughs> he, they didn't want to fight there. Darius was really low. He's level 6, though. Uh, it could be very... It could have been a very close match uh, between those uh, two people. Or, I guess, four total. But uh, the 2v2 would have been super close. And Italy, when she gets sick, she's so she's such a good farmer. And bottom line, uh oh, Ezreal just barely missing that Q. And now, oh my gosh, she does get kind of zoned from the split crank. But now the Zenith, the Zenith blade with the shield daybreak doing a little bit. Shen's coming in with his ultimate. And now, uh oh, this could be dangerous. Ezreal is all by himself. Gets power fist and Antonti does end up going down, trying to get greedy for that kill. And it's not going to be enough. Definitely great play. By the blue team, Shen having a great map awareness, Blitzcrank doing a great job by not uh, by not running away and kind of just knowing that Shen will come eventually. Uh, in the meantime, Zara is still in mid. She's farming pretty well. She's 71 CS as opposed to Italy's 41. She's ahead by 30, which is huge. At eight eight and a half minutes, that's going to put her quite a bit ahead, and she has a kill and assist. Uh, yeah, that's about a thousand gold ahead already at eight minutes just for her, though. That's insane. Oh, the spear! Oh, that was so close. I was like seeing the chunks of those really long range spears. Shago doing a great job picking up that red buff, doing exactly what he needs to do. Uh, and I would expect them to kind of go for a dragon here pretty soon. Uh, and now, uh oh, from the back, it looks like Darius is coming in. And the ultimate now coming out from Zara. It's going to knock him up. Oh, and it will pick up the Nidalee right in the middle of the pounce. 
Wonderful job. And now, wow, I almost killed two people. But that was phenomenal play uh, by the red team. Being able to pick up Zyra, that's exactly who they needed to kill out. Uh, unfortunately, it was Nidalee that picked up the kill, took the blue buff, and then went down right away from that Zyra. So, uh, there is going to be no more blue buff. So, unfortunately, it's one less buff for the, the whole map. Uh, but we'll see how well it affects. Oh, and a great, great grab coming up from Blitzcrank. And the Ignite is going to be end up taking him down. Ezreal does have to get out of there with his blink. He's going to get out safely, though. No, not too many worries there. And... Shiko actually hasn't done as much roaming as I thought he was. He's been doing pretty good. Uh, nothing super crazy yet, though. Which uh, He was doing really strong, as I say that. It looks like he is going to go for this Nidalee once again. And yes, he does end up going for the Nidalee. And that is going to be a ton. The snare just barely misses. And now the Ignite going down. One more pounce is going to get her away. But no, the two-ship poison is going to follow up and just chase her. Wonderful job by the Shaker, doing a ton of damage, and now, wow, Ezreal goes down almost instantly. Let's see if we can find out what happened there. So Malka is right here. He's kind of expecting something to go down, and wow. Oh, he didn't arcane shift. He didn't time it right, and yes, he went down pretty much instantly. Great job by the blue team, just easily being able to pick up that kill. Absolutely no issues whatsoever. Uh, the red team is still in it, though. They're a little bit behind, but... Uh, they can, they always have their chances. Darius is going right up against the Shaco. It looks like Shaco's taking a ton of damage. I don't know the apprehend. Yes, it does finally come out. And with the dunk, it's going to be a little bit damaged. Yes, I think the bleed is going to be able to kill him. Yes, it will. Uh, but Shaco's clone is still chasing him. And Shen might be able to pick it up. No, it breaks. Oh, yes, the flash. The flash forward play does end up taking up that kill. Great job by him. Oh, and another wonderful grab coming out from Blitzcrank, doing about half of Ezreal's damage. Or half of his health bar. I can't believe that Blitzcrank's actually doing that much damage. I mean, primarily all of his spells are magic, and uh, most AD carries don't really build much magic resist at bottom. And that's uh, primarily just because the harass that you get is usually from an AD carry. Oh, Nidalee's coming out top. She's coming out with a vengeance. Shen is all by himself, though. He's going to get Twisted Advance here pretty soon. I don't think he's really paying attention. No, Zyra's coming up. She's going to throw down really hard. Gets that ultimate off, but doesn't actually hit anybody. And now they might be chasing out this Nidalee and the Leon. No, the spear coming out just barely hitting Shen. Is Shen going to get the taunt on? Doesn't look like it's really going to happen. No, but Leona face checks Splish just a little bit. And now, uh-oh, Darius is going to apprehend. Misses it, though. And the exhaust going down. The, the Zenith Blade doing some extra damage. But they're going to be forced away from this. They really don't want Darius to do anything. Shiko's going to be coming in. And now Zara, wow, doing a ton of damage to this Darius. Is she going to be able to follow up with one more spell? Yes. One more auto attack. Yes. The plant picks up the kill. Great job by Zyra. Picking up that plant kill. Oh my gosh. See, this is why I'm not a vegetarian. Plants scare me. And, uh oh, Ezreal's face checking into two people. This is not going to be good. Is he going to get the grab through? Oh, the flash just barely getting it. Great read by that Ezreal. Ezreal knew he was going to get uh, grabbed right away. If Blitzcrank was a little bit faster on that grab, they would have definitely got him. It just wasn't quite there. Uh, Maokai looks like he might try to do something. I don't really know, though. Nilly's coming around from the back. Ezreal's also here. Throws down ultimate. Gets him. And then the damage reduction coming out from Maokai. is going to do quite a bit. Blitzcrank has to get out of there as fast as possible. But now Shaco's here kind of all by himself. Shen comes in. He's going to be able to do quite a bit of damage. He does end up taking down that Maokai. Now Shen's in trouble. Yes, he ends up falling to that Nidalee. Nidalee picks up the double kill. That's going to be very good for her since she's so far behind already. She really needs that extra experience and extra... Uh, extra damage from it. Oh, and wow, Nidalee almost gets that spear kill. A wonderful job by her. She's really showing that uh, she has a presence in this game and she's not just going to keep feeding to the Shaco in mid. Uh, like I said, once she hits six, it's really hard to get her. Oh my gosh, and Sarah's sitting right in this bush. Is going to be able to take her down almost instantly. And yes, she is going to have double buffs now, so Zara going to be extremely powerful. Uh, just Nidalee staying a little bit too long, and now the blue buff going down onto this Leona, actually. 
I don't really know why they gave it to Leona. It's possible just for this the simple fact of the cooldown reduction, you know, helping that shield to daybreak cooldown with the uh, with the Zenith Blade as well as her Solar Flare. Uh, it could definitely help provide some extra utility to the team. They could get in uh, a couple team fights a little bit closer back to back. Uh, they might lose the first one, but 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 they probably win the second one. That's uh, kind of what I'm getting at here. Uh, unless it was an accident, in which case, whoops, but <laughs> let's hope that was not the case. Uh, and Red Team does end up taking, or sorry, Red Team loses another tower. This is not good. It's not looking good for the Red Team so far. Oh, Blitzcrank is going to get chased down. He's so close. He's all by himself. There's two people there, and is Blitzcrank going to land that grab? Yes, he does, but the upper hand coming down. He's going to take a lot of damage. Gets the grab, and now Corky's in the fray. The missing... <laughs> wow, that was a wonderful, wonderful dodge. And, oh, man, Italy does end up having to flash out of that. She is going to get away pretty easily. She throws the spear, doesn't actually land on anybody. Uh, Shen's coming in with a vengeance, though. He's right here. He knows what's going on. Uh, and that was a one for zero trade in favor of the blue team. If they continue to do trades like that, uh, it's not going to be good for the red team in the long run. Shiko's coming in from the back. He does throw down the ignite, but the stun with the solar flare stunning him out just a little bit. And the Zenith Blade is going to do just a little bit. But Sarah's going to be able to finish up this kill with her plants. And oh man, so very close. Vesro had his ultimate. That could have been an easy double kill. <laughs> Uh, wonderful job though by by the blue team. They're still just picking off people one at a time uh, Making sure they're uh, getting an advantage and just keeping that advantage uh, as high as possible And Zara going for the early haunting eyes and just bashes a flat-out abyssal scepter uh, She's definitely the most fed in this game. She has 7,000 gold uh, the bad thing is is that the person with the lowest amount of gold on the blue team being the Shaco has more gold than the highest person on the opposing team that is not going to be good uh, it's a it's pretty close to about the same now but Darius has the most yeah it's it's not looking good for the spread team I don't know how they're gonna be able to come back from this I don't even know if they're gonna be able to come back from this to be honest they're just uh, they're not gonna have the utility that they should have they, they're not gonna have the tankiest that they need to have uh, they just don't have any uh, any of the advantages that the blue team has just kind of stripped away from them entirely. The spear now coming down from Italy. Oh, and a great grab in the mid pounce. Wow, that was freaking beautiful. Oh, man. And even in games like this where it's uh, kind of a stomp, you see some amazing plays. Like, Italy was pretty much caught out regardless. I don't think she would have got away. But grabbing in mid pounce. That's not something you see all the time. And now, uh-oh, oh, oh Ezreal just barely misses it, but Shaco's there, ready, gets the slow down, and now Zyro throws down her ultimate, but Shaco picks up anyway. The upper hand now coming down onto Shaco. Shaco throws down his ultimate, wasn't able to nullify the dunk, and it's not gonna happen. Shen ultimates in, and wow, great grab coming in, followed by the taunt, getting destroyed right now. Darius is able to flash out of that way. Is he gonna be able to get away entirely? Yes, it looks like he will survive to fight another day. Wonderful job by the Darius. He, or Darius, right? He tried so hard to get that kill. He was just not quite there. A spear coming out, hitting Shen. Not really doing too much outside that. Though. It doesn't even too much damage. Oh, the grab not quite landing on the Nidalee that time. That would have been awesome if he hit a second one. But uh, <laughs> another tower going down in favor of the blue team. Oh, and the ultimate actually stopping. One of the recalls, and Shaco's gonna continue to recall. It shouldn't be too much of an issue. I don't think Blitzcrank should be grabbing anybody, though. They, oh no, Zyra gets cut out. She might have to flash out here. She gets dunked. She actually goes down immediately, and now the Twisted Advance. Corky Valkyrie is out of the way, so it's really long distance. Zenith Blade followed by the Shield Daybreak, and Maokai picks up the kill on the Corky. And this is a huge turn for the red team. Unfortunately, they don't have enough creeps to really do anything. Darius started taking the tower. It's just not going to be enough right now. And it looks like Maokai, yes, he is going to be able to take out that box. And the spear coming out, oh, it does not quite hit that Shen. Would have been wonderful, though. It's always wonderful. So if we take a look at the CS, so the, the top lane, Shen had 112 CS uh, versus Darius, 112. And so now they're finally matched up. The only thing is that Shen has four kills. 
Wow, Power Fist followed by the Silence and the Grab, and that's going to be a dead in Italy going down to the Ignite of uh, of that Shaco. Wonderful play, once again by the blue team, just having absolutely no issues whatsoever. Uh, Nidalee's completely shut out at this point in the game. She has no gold per 10 items, and she's almost, yeah, she's about 70 CS behind. So Zara has almost double, so she has 88 at 20 minutes. That's really not good, and it's, uh, she doesn't even have that many kills to really compensate for it. I mean, she does have three kills to assist, but it's definitely not going to compensate for her lack of CS. I mean, Zara has eight. Oh my gosh, a great grab coming out. Goes down almost instantly. Darius getting popped up. He's going to do quite a bit of damage for that plant's going to kind of just throw him off. And uh-oh, Darius could have some problems. The spear going down and the dunk absolutely destroying the Blitzcrank. Did not expect that spear. Great bait by the Darius, just perfectly placed. And then that spear just did so much damage. So just wonderful, uh, wonderful team play by the red team. I don't know if they're a duo queue or not, but it wouldn't surprise me with plays like that. It definitely would not surprise me if they were a duo queue. Chico is going to be able to pick up that blue, no problem, but it looks like the blue team is now targeting after this inner top tower, sorry, inner bottom tower. And it doesn't, I don't know yet, Darius is not going to really be able to do anything. He gets harassed a little bit by those minions, but uh, nothing else is really going to happen. Zyra's doing a great job actually snaring that Ezreal, Ezreal taking quite a bit of damage. He just doesn't have the MR that he needs right now to really survive a huge fight. Nearly coming out, throwing the spear, but it does barely miss. Now Maokai's coming around the back. Uh, he's coming around the mountain, you could say. Oh, he's actually going towards mid. This could be bad. Uh, the red team has this place pinged out. And no! Oh my gosh, Nearly gets caught out once again with that power fist and ultimate combo. Wonderful job. Ezreal going down. Doesn't actually land his ult. It doesn't look like it actually went off. Um, oh yeah, it did. So, wow, that was just a phenomenal job once again by the Zyra. Uh, uh oh, Israel, he's gonna get caught out, and the grab is probably gonna come down. He, d oh wow, he has the arcane shift with the flash once more. He's getting chased down pretty hard though. He has that, uh, he has the phage. So we could potentially slow down if he gets one phage proc. That's going to be it, but he just wasn't able to proc it. Very unfortunate. Uh, for this Ezreal, I think he had Blitzcrank with three, uh, three or four Mystic Shots, and none of them uh, were phage procs. It's definitely not lucky when that happens. I hate when that happens, and that's why you know a lot of people don't really like the random number generation because it's so annoying. Wow, the great grab coming on really once again. She goes down almost instantly now. Seems like coming in and the Shenel is now teleporting in. He's going to be able to get really close to the team. Is he going to go for the taunt? No, he's not. But the apprehend is down now. That's going to be a one for one trade. So, uh, Corky for Nidalee, definitely not a bad trade in favor of that red team. Uh, taking out an 80 carry, that's, you know, he's not completely bad, but uh, he's quite a bit more present than Ezreal. Ezreal only had 78 kills with zero actual champion kills. Uh, so Ezreal is extremely behind, and that is once again going to be another kill on the Leona. Leona's going to flash through that wall just to get away. Okay, Nidalee's coming out, she does throw a spear, hits the plant, and the Arcane Smash with Tucson, and it's going to be in the dump now, going down onto the split crank, and that is going to be a Surrender Vote coming out from the red team. Uh, at the end there, Shaco does end up picking up Dragon, so good job by him, like getting the extra cold for his team. Um, wow, that was just, it was kind of a stomp. They lost by oh, 17,000 gold in 20 minutes, which is a lot, a lot of gold. You can't underestimate that amount of gold in such a short period of time. Uh, so yeah, I would definitely give this game completely in favor of the blue team. But uh, so congratulations to them, GG to the red team. They uh, they put up a fight in the beginning there, but uh, they just weren't able to clinch back and uh, really do much of anything at that point. 
Uh, again, if you guys like my videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button in the middle of your screen. If you want to see any of my next videos, you can click on that button, or any previous videos, you can click on that one as well. And uh, if you have any champions or players that you want to see specifically, uh, make sure to leave a comment or send me a message. And again, if you do contribute uh, to you know this little community that we have going on, uh, I will be handing out a raffle uh, of I think my next one is fifty dollars in RP. Uh, it goes to one person, and uh, once I hit that five hundred subscribers mark, I'm just kind of going to give back to everybody and uh, do a raffle for a fifty dollar RP card. Or if you're in Europe or wherever, wherever the card may need to be, <laughs> that's where well, that's what I'll get it. So uh, yeah, just make sure to do that because right now, I mean, you have pretty good chances. It's like one in a hundred, if not less than that. Even though I have almost five hundred subs. Uh, so yeah, just make sure to do that, and uh, I will see you guys at part two on the NA server in a few hours. See ya.